Hi guys, um, I'm in my PowerPoint program and I'm just going to show you how to make a slide to um, make into a video later. So um, what we're going to do is I want to actually um, get a template. Okay, um, so I want to press on new up here and I want to have a look at the templates that I've got here. Now, templates are things that are going to um, create a theme, okay? I'm going to go online and see what templates I can get. So, let's just see. It says Microsoft Office Online, so let's go to Featured. Oops, it doesn't want to find it. Well, let's go to... We'll go to design slides and let's see, um, just say I just want to um, do a business um, video. Okay, so we're just going to click one here. Let's just pick this one. Okay, and then it comes over here and we're going to say download. Okay, so I've got my template here. Now, it's nice. Now I can just edit it right now. Now, it said to click there to add the title. So, just say, um, how to make your own online B-U-S-I-N-E-S-S, -S, right? Okay, dot, dot, dot. Right, now doesn't that look fantastic? Right, so now we're going to go for a subtitle. Just say, we're just going to make it quite simple, okay? Some slides, just so I can show you how I can make a video. Um, I will show you in this video, okay? Now that's one slide. Now I need I need a few more. Now here's the slides here. So I'm just going to right click on that and say duplicate the slide. Okay? So now this one's highlighted and this one's not. Okay? Now I'm going to edit it. Now that can still be the headline there, but now I want to click on here and I'm going to make a bullet point list here. Okay, and I'm going to write something in there. Just say how. So we're thinking of the subject: how to make your own online business. Um, okay, first thing: um, just pretending. Build a website. Okay. Um, the next thing could be to. Um, create a product get traffic to your website etc. Now I'm just going to stretch this and bring it down so it can be bigger. Okay and I can also move it wherever I want to and stuff like that. I can put it over there if I want um, oop, flip it around. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to press back and back. I'm going to take it back over here because it's a bit easier. And I'm just going to stretch it up this way a bit more because you can probably see it better. Okay, so I've got that there. So now if I come over here, I've got the first one and then I've gone on to the second one with a few bullet points. Okay, now I'm just going to make one more. So I'm going to right click on it and duplicate the slide again. And I'm going to put three more bullet points in here, but different ones. Okay, so we built a website, we created a product, we got traffic to it. Um, do search engine optimization for the website. Okay, create a p 
pay per click advert and um, what else can we do to build a business online um, brand yourself okay so basically uh, that'll do for now okay so if I come over here I've got um, like I can take the title away I can do anything I like I can even take the picture away if I wanted to well I can't for this one because it's stuck there um, I can put a picture on top of that I can change the template if I'm not happy but this is fine okay so I'm gonna go up the top here and we're gonna choose save as okay and we're gonna go down and choose other formats now I want to go into a folder that I created it's called test and I've actually saved them already but I'm gonna do it again just for you so it says PowerPoint presentation save as a PowerPoint presentation we don't want to do that we want to save it as a, P uh, a JPEG or a PNG but we'll go JPEG press on that JPEG file format save okay there it is there save and do you want to export every slide in the presentation yes we do every slide each slide has been saved in a separate folder blah 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 okay radio so we've got them saved all separate as a picture okay so we're going to close this now and what I've done is I've opened up Windows Movie Maker now this comes with Windows Vista um, and whatever or Windows XP and stuff like that um, I don't know whether it will come with your version of Windows 7 you'll have to check that out yourself now um, so whatever you're using um, you can use that but this one is um, usually included with most computers so what we're going to do first is we've just opened up and we've got nothing happening here we've just opened the program so we're going to press on it's got import and we're going to import pictures and we're going to go to that folder that I uh, put them in which is test oh actually it's in documents and then test right and in there right so we've got slide one slide two and so slide three so we're gonna import all of them so I just hold my control key down on the keyboard and just click on them one at a time and press import okay so there we go I've got the slides here okay so now I'm gonna drag them down here one two three now you're going to have to play around with this because I can't um, have I can't take too much time in showing you. Um, now this is the storyboard. Now I'm going to go to the timeline. I'm just going to be very quick. Now if you click on one of these, you can spread it out, pull it out, and make it longer. Okay. So if I click on this one now, this one's selected, so I can pull it out and make it longer, and then I'll click out on this one and make it longer now um, what I want to do with this is add audio to it okay so I'm gonna click on this timeline thing up here and I'm gonna put narrate timeline okay now this comes up up the top here we'll just put press start narration okay um, so what it's done is it started to record me okay over slide 3 now um, so I'd be talking about how to do search engine optimization and stuff like that now if I can't fit what I want to say okay I'm gonna um, go up and stop it at the moment stop the narration save it as untitled or whatever now see how it's added it to the timeline okay now I didn't have enough time to speak so I need to stretch that slide out a bit more now I can just go and add another um, narration here 
after that because I didn't get enough time to speak. So see this green thing? You double click here and the green thing comes along. And then you go back to here and say narrate again. Okay? And we'll go up to the top and say start narration. Now if I go down here it's recording me again. Alright? I'm going to go up and press stop. Okay, and save the file. And now I've got two narrations there. Now if I go and click here, I'm, go I'm just going to start playing it from here. Play. Start narration. Okay. Um, so what it's done is it started to record me mm -hmm. okay, over slide three. Okay. Now, um, Pause. Now, what I do is I'll just start back here. Just press play. Now this is slide two at the moment. Now I've got nothing talking over it. Okay. Now it's going to change. See, it's going to change in a sec. Start See. Okay. It started um, on so the next start, slide. Is it started to record me? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to pause that now, but that's what you do. Okay, so we'll go back to storyboard. So we've got the three things there, and we know we've got audio going over the top. Now, just so I want to save it now and make it into a um, video, because that's how look that's how quick it is. Okay, um, I'm really sorry that I have to be so quick about this but anyway um, save it to your computer okay and we can just call it a movie or whatever you want to call it and where you want to that's fine go next now just go best quality for payback uh, playback sorry um, this will be fine to upload to YouTube right and just press publish Okay, so then it's going to do it. Now, of course, I didn't do it nice. Um, I should have put audio there, stretched it out, and all those other things. I can even put transitions in between, um, which is really easy. All you do is go to the transition section here, and you drag a transition down to that spot in between. That's all you do. Okay. Um, that's about it. I hope that helps anyway. I'm just going to cancel that. Yes. And close that up. Alright. Thanks for watching.